Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my garage. Well, it was a beautiful solar day out there today. Uh, nearly perfect conditions. Um, conditions that I find uh, very, very agreeable today. Uh, and today I figured was a good day since I was home today to, to take uh, some pictures of output on an hourly basis. Uh, and as we got closer to solar noon, I, I took them on a half hourly basis. And as an added bonus today, I climbed up on the roof once again and drilled some holes in my rack, uh, a couple sets, uh, so we can change the angle of the solar panels to see if that makes any difference when it comes to output. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to talk about all that here in just a second. Before we get into that, I'm going to ask everybody, could you like and subscribe and possibly comment? Uh, I'm trying to grow the channel here, uh, and the algorithm definitely likes it when you like and subscribe. Uh, and it definitely likes it when you comment, too. So don't be shy. I, I like to answer the comments. So bring it on. All right, now let's let's have a look at what's going on and take a look at output here uh, for the day. As you see, I started at 7 a.m. this morning. This is the output for the 30-amp, 410-watt system. Uh, and then we'll slip slide over here. This is the output for the 20-amp, 200-amp. 80 watt system and this is at seven o'clock uh, and then at eight o'clock output big system little system nine o'clock output big system little system ten o'clock output big system little system and then eleven o'clock output big system little system now this is eleven thirty big system little system and 12 o'clock right here big system and little system now 12 30 i came back this is the big system here and the little system now at 12 55 that's when i started playing with the rack and uh deciding to change the angle so i took this picture at 12 55 this is before i changed anything and this is what we had 23.6 and 14.9 so i went up there and it took me about 20 minutes to drill the holes uh, and drop the panel about four degrees. So we went from 38 to 34 degrees, and this is the result at 34 degrees. Uh, does obviously it's it's next to nothing. Uh, so I thought, well, what the heck? Let's drill. Let's drill another hole, uh, another set of holes, and kick her back another four or five degrees. And this is what you get at 29 degrees at 135. Uh, about 20 minutes after the second or the first set of holes was drilled so uh from 1255 to 135 was when the angle of the panels was changed and we had 23.4 and 14.8 so um i personally uh, from looking at that data uh can't tell the difference at solar noon uh between output whether it be uh 38 degrees or uh 29 degrees now i took this one at four o'clock uh 16 and 10.3 now if you correlate that to earlier in the day i guess that would be around the nine o'clock numbers and i don't remember what they were but i think that laying the panels back to 29 degrees definitely makes a difference um in the early morning hours and in the late afternoon hours i think it makes a difference for sure uh and if somebody wants to take the time to go back and try to figure all that out there's four o'clock numbers to to tell you it's five o'clock now so let's have a look at the numbers uh and what we got going on up there uh it is kicking 12.7 13 and a half volts 12.7 and the little system is kicking 8.1 uh so we've had a a good day today uh solar wise let's uh hop back here and show you where we are on battery status here oh this way uh, that one and as you can see, we've had the refrigerator off grid since uh, six o'clock this morning. I had it. Uh, only thing that was on yesterday was the sump pump. It was a cloudy day, uh, and I had wore down the the battery decent um, running the refrigerator off grid for the previous couple days before that. So I gave the cloudy day. Uh, I gave the battery a chance to to come back and and uh, gain some voltage, uh, and it did. Uh, and then 6 o'clock this morning, I got up and I looked at the forecast, and it's supposed to be sunny for the next 4 or 5 days. So off the grid we go again with the refrigerator. And we're going to keep it that way uh, until we get a cloudy day. 
So let's back up here and have us a little bit more of a conversation. And then I'll get out of here and you guys can enjoy the rest of your weekends. So um, I I'm going to ask again, if you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, I'm trying to grow this channel. I, I want to get the word out there that people, um, you do not need to spend five figures to make solar worth it for you. You don't. It's not necessary. Not at all. Uh, I drive around and I see houses with ro roofs covered in solar panels. Five, six, seven, eight, nine kilowatt arrays. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy what the solar companies are doing to people. It really is. Uh, and I just found out myself here that Ameren doesn't actually pay anything for excess generation. You do not get any compensation. They just keep it. Um, so for those of you that are getting huge arrays, um, you're getting ripped off. I mean, you know, the salespeople that are doing their job and selling solar systems to you uh, and filling your roof with panels, they may have a deal with Ameren and they may be getting paid uh, for the excess electricity that you you have paid for and are providing. Um, but as an individual, I, I talked to somebody who paid for their own array and everything that's on their roof. Uh, they don't have any contract or anything like that. Um, Ameren resets their meter once, uh, so if you have enough panels to make your meter spin backwards, um, you can pick the time you want to reset, and he resets in the, in the summer right about now, uh, so his air conditioning bill is offset, and all the production that's made all summer is um, then used up uh, in the wintertime. Uh, and that's wise, uh, but he was the one that told me that they don't actually pay anything uh, for the electricity, the excess electricity that you generate. And that's why he only has a three kilowatt system. Uh, and that makes sense. Uh, so according to him, and he's pretty happy with what he has, three kilowatts is, is good uh, for central Illinois here. Uh, so if, and you know what, I may very well at some point um, get a couple panels up there on the roof and tie it into the grid and start reporting on that uh, and give you people an idea of how all that works. Uh, but I'm not going to do it now, <laughs> and it's probably not going to be this summer. Uh, that might be next spring's project, uh, but that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but nonetheless, you can still save money with off-grid solar, and if you're not in on this game here, uh, you probably should get in soon. Um, there's no time like the present. Everything is affordable uh, compared to prices two, three, four, five years ago. Uh, the batteries are affordable. The panels are affordable. The inverters are affordable. Um, you know, hey, don't be shy. Get yourself in it. Well, that's it. Have a good day, everybody, and a better tomorrow.